Once upon a time in the Indian Ocean, a small island with profuse natural beauty was born. Mauritius, as this small island would come to be known, was gifted with landscapes that bring euphoria to the eyes. This adventure video will take you on a complete tour of Mauritius, to discover its long stretches of white sand beaches, colorful flame trees, forests with lush vegetation, high mountain peaks, sublime underwater world, unending sugarcane fields and the vibrant villages and friendly people. We invite you to watch to the end this immersive adventure, in which you will discover the most beautiful places of our tropical island. Our first stop is Port Louis. Port Louis, the capital of Mauritius is also the largest port of the Indian Ocean. Inside Port Louis, busy streets crisscross the city that has been growing constantly since the year 1732, when it was chosen to become the main port of Ile de France. Key attractions of the capital are the citadel, a fort of the colonial period, the Natural History Museum where a relic of the dodo is found, the Arpravasi Ghat World Heritage Site where first indentured laborers arrived in the island, the Intercontinental Slavery Museum, the Marie-Reine de la Paix, sacred site for Catholics overlooking the city, the Cordon Waterfront, and the Bazaar, the central market of Port Louis. Let us take a 360 tour in some of these places, Grand Bay is the inevitable place to visit in the north of Mauritius. A large bay with a calm lagoon protected from the high waves of the outer sea, an ideal place for mooring boats, catamarans, and yachts. The beach is alive with activities during the day, with fishermen disembarking and selling their catch, multicolored fish and other seafood. Coconut water sellers and local fast food hawkers are busy attracting customers on the street of Grand Bay. The village can boast itself to have an array of restaurants, souvenir shops, nightclubs, and hotels. Pere Bear Beach a cozy little beach of the north, where one cannot resist to relax in the calm clear water, and why not enjoy some acrobatics in the warm water. A beautiful sand beach caressed by the warm sea, perfect for long swims, each unhurriedly takes a little stroll to look for his spot on the welcoming sand. The charm of this little beach inspires artists and poets to express their talents in the open. Malira, an admirable little fisherman's village, which rightly prides itself on its beautiful red roof chapel overlooking the ocean. Probably to remind those who work at sea that here, on the firm ground, between its walls, a haven of peace awaits the tired fisherman.
Monshuazi can proudly boast itself to be the longest public beach of Mauritius, extending nearly 3 kilometers. An idyllic beach with its clear turquoise blue water. The forest of filao trees that border the beach is undoubtedly the most dense of the island. At the start of summer, Monshuazi roads are brightened up by the blooming of flame trees. The Pamplemousses Garden is one of the oldest botanical garden in the Southern Hemisphere. The place was originally the residence of Governor Mahe de la Bordonais in 1736. Later on, in 1767, the French intendant Pierre Poivre introduced many exotic plants, flowers, and spice plants from different parts of the world. This large garden covers an area of 33 hectares with the central attraction being the Water Lily Pond, a large rectangular pond populated with giant Victoria Amazonica, with their leaves resting on the surface of the water. It is said that they can withstand the weight of a small child. But who would dare to step on them? Such a fragile nature is best touched only by the sight. We now travel to the west coast of Mauritius. At the Point O Caves, the only lighthouse of Mauritius stands fast and firm, on the top of the cliffs, as if it is still watching over the passing ships and embarkations on their way to Port Louis. Traveling down the west coast, we reach a little village where the inhabitants cherish their joy of living. Flick on Flack has a magical marvelous beach of fine sand with crystal clear water. The Filaho trees also known as Cassiorina trees are omnipresent along the beach. Here is a good place to swim, a large natural swimming pool where the warmth of the water makes you forget time. The high waves are kept well away from the lagoon by a long stretch of coral reef. The summit of the Peter both mountain rises to 820 meters above sea level, making it the second highest mountain in Mauritius. It has been named in honor of the Governor-General of the Dutch East Indies, Peter Both, who died when the ship taking him back to Holland, accidentally sunk near the west coast of Mauritius in the year 1615. On the top of the Peter Both mountain, a boulder of rock seems to lie in equilibrium, between sky and earth, as if a person is crouched on himself, watching over villages nearby. At an altitude of 600 meters above sea level, the dormant volcano of True O Surf overlooks the town of Kulpi. The crater has a diameter of 300 meters and a depth of 80 meters, the inside slopes being covered in a lush forest of indigenous plants and giant pine trees. Those looking for thrilling sensations will be delighted by this magical isolated location, the Seven Waterfalls. 
Water from the Tamarine Falls Reservoir flowed down the seven waterfalls to finally merge into the sea at Tamarine Village on the west coast. During the Mahashivratri festival, the Grand Barsain Lake represents a place of pilgrimage for thousands of Mauritian Hindus, who come to pray to Lord Shiva. A 108 feet high statue of the Hindu god Shiva, guards the entrance of Gonga Talao Lake, which is today an iconic religious sanctuary of the island. Several Hindu temples have been constructed around the lake. During the Mahashivratri festival, Devotees from all over the island converge towards the sacred lake of Gonga Talao. The Alexandra Falls, a pristine environment is alive and thriving. The incessant chirping of birds and the crisp sound of running water merge to provide healing to the senses. The center of attraction is undeniably the waterfall, offering an immersive experience of rumbling sound of water flow and natural beauty. The Black River National Park is the main forest area of Mauritius, covering an area of 6,574 hectares in the southwest inland region. A forest where endemic plant species and animals still thrive, maintaining the vital balance of nature in a fast-developing tropical island. From the Black River Gorge's viewpoint platform, we can admire the Pai on Kau birds performing their aerial acrobatics within a magnificent panoramic and immersive landscape. This place offers a unique opportunity to observe the natural world and its wide variety of wildlife. Nature sometimes creates very strange phenomena that leaves the mind puzzled, and the seven colored earths of Sharmarel is one such place within a remote part of the forest. Volcanic soil of different colors stay always separated on this little hill, where no grass or plants can grow. The road from Black River Gorges leads to the southwest coast of Mauritius via many sharp contours and offers many breathtaking views on the west coast of the island. The Ilo Benetia Island lies in the largest lagoon of Mauritius, a flat sand island in the form of the Benetia shell. A tiny islet of coral formation called the Crystal Rock is a particular attraction near Benetia Island. Le Morne Mountain is located on the southwestern tip of Mauritius. This is an impressive rocky monolith of 556 meters high, facing the ocean. The coastal road that encircles the foot of the mountain leads to an area of beautiful sandy beaches and high-class hotel resorts.
Le Mans Mountain has been proclaimed a UNESCO World Heritage Site since July 2008, and is also known as Le Mans Cultural Landscape. The ocean on the southwest of the island hides marine life of rich diversity, as witnessed by this rare encounter with two humpback whales near Le Mans coast. At the complete end of Le Mans Brabant is found Pointe sud West Beach, where professionals windsurfers and kite surfers struggle against the power of the wind and waves with the unique aim to surpass one's own limits. The sharp road turn of Marcongde opens the way to the south of Mauritius. From the top of the rocky platform, the view of the southern ocean is breathtaking to say the least. A rare sea phenomenon can be observed from here. The Karma Sea from the southwest merges with the rough sea of the south, producing churning underwater currents. The contrast of sea colors combined with the soothing sea breeze is a real delight to the eyes. At Riviere de Gale, the beach has a very special peculiarity. Here the relentless sea has fashioned the scene to produce pebbles tirelessly polished by the waves. Every crashing of waves creates the union between water and rock, yielding the sound of an unbearable racket. Rivers flowing down from the slopes of the southern mountains converge at the Rochester Falls in a spectacular final aquatic show of 10 meters high before continuing on to merge into the sea at Suya. Gris gris, la roche qui pleure, mon naturel, le souffleur, are some of the enchanting scenic points of the south coast of Mauritius. With the grass lying flat, shaved by the sea spray, it is here that friends of the environment come to renew their ties with nature. A mystical place for the dance of waves at the rhythm of the wind. The fury of the waves is unleashed against the dark cliffs and the powerful breath of the ocean throws up millions of tiny droplets onto the dazzled spectators. The atmosphere is engulfed in an endless succession of powerful booms coming from the relentless crashing of the waves against the rocks, hence name of Weeping Rock. The cliffs are unquestionably under the dictate of the high waves that incessantly arrive from the southern ocean, an ocean that extends to the reach of Antarctica without any land in between. The rough and tumultuous south coast of Mauritius restores back to its calm and bluish waters at Blue Bay Beach. 
The key attraction of Blue Bay is undoubtedly its 353 hectares marine park. Ilos Aigrets, a coral island lying in the Emerald Blue Lagoon of Point Destiny. Classified as a key natural reserve of Mauritius, it is home to a number of endemic plants, birds, and reptiles, namely the ebony tree, the pink pigeon and the giant Aldebra tortoise. Ilos Aigrets is an open-air laboratory for the preservation and conservation of endemic animals and plants. Mayberg, a village charged with history, as witnessed by the Naval Museum, a treasure trove of relics, amongst which are found artifacts of the St. Jaren ship, which sank in 1744. From the Mayberg waterfront, the view on the sea is magnificent, the Lion Mountain lies still in the background. A small islet with its red-roofed house dominates the scenery, while the Ilo Far and Il de La Pass islands are visible on the horizon. One of the key attractions of the east coast of Mauritius is the Grand River Southeast Waterfalls. This place is accessed from the sea in ferry boats. The unstoppable wall of river water makes a nice background for a photo shoot. Palmar Beach is where tranquility and peacefulness come together. Let's travel through a sinuous sandy path in between the filau trees, bent by the eastern sea breeze for a memorable tropical experience. We travel through endless sugar cane fields, to reach our next stop. Belmar, from the old French meaning beautiful sea, is one of the longest beaches of Mauritius, with a calm emerald blue lagoon and white sand beach. These key charms of Belmar have naturally attracted the construction of high-class hotels, restaurants and tourist shops along the beach. True Deuce, the little village with great hospitality. People here live on the rhythm of the sea. The regatta boat competitions give an opportunity to the inhabitants to celebrate their passion of navigating the sea. Colorful boats compete with each other, with the ultimate aim to have fun and above all, an enjoyable moment with family and friends. The small island of Elo Surf is a particularly charming place to discover in the east of Mauritius. This islet covers roughly one kilometer square in surface area. Several ferry boat operators are busy embarking passengers from Trudeau Deuce village to reach Ilo Surf. The water here is of a surreal transparency on a wide area, resembling a large natural swimming pool.
We now end our journey in a speedboat trip to Trudeau Deuce. Fasten your seatbelt and let's enjoy the bumpy ride. Please note that all the places you have seen in this video are described in much greater detail on our website. We hope you appreciated this adventure. Please subscribe and post your comments and let us know which country you're from.